Hey, this is Zuzana Mukumai, the relationship coach you have been looking for, especially if you and your partner comes from different culture. In today's video, we are going to talk about growing as a couple. And I will tell you why is it so important to grow together as a couple, how you will know that you are actually growing, and five tips how to grow even more or how to start growing if you haven't been growing together so far. And I am the type of coach who shares real advice. I share what really works for me and for my clients. And that's what you can expect. I will share no theory, nothing what I haven't tested myself. And that's why I know that this works and I am sure this can help you as well. So let me start with a quote by Phil Knight, the founder of the Nike. And he says, life is growth. You grow or you die. And this is true about life, business, but also about relationships. And I know this myself. I learned it the hard way. In my previous relationship, um, at some point, we stopped growing and I felt stuck. Not only we were not growing as a couple, but we were also not growing as persons. And it was very painful and uh, I don't have to say that it did not work out. And what do I even mean by growing as a couple? Maybe you're asking, what does it even mean? How you will measure it? How you will know? So I'm not going to give you a boring definition. If you need a definition, you can always Google it and find the one which you love. But um, for me, growing as a couple means answering this question. Are we dealing with our challenges better today than yesterday, last month or last year while loving each other? And let's break this down. And I was talking, I promised you five tips how you will know that you are growing as a couple. So five signs, if you know that you are growing, or five tips how to start growing as a couple. So let me jump into the first one. And sometimes if I'm watching down, I have my notes because I really wanted to make sure that I don't forget any, anything and I give you everything what I wanted to share. So the first one is understanding his perspective or understanding the other perspective because um, all of us we tend to see things black and white and um, we uh, we are not so good in learning the other perspectives and in my coaching I often use the positive intelligence framework and it fits here perfectly as well I believe that all the conflicts they stem from the judgment Maybe you were judging your partner, maybe you were judging the relationship, or maybe you were judging yourselves. And from that judgment stems conflicts and arguments and disagreements. And here I would like to share the 10% rule, which I find very useful. And it goes like this, in everything, everything, even if it seems completely crazy and um, not true, in everything there is 10% what is right. So instead of focusing on what's wrong or what you disagree with, try to find the 10% what is true in the given statement. And I know it can be hard because we are all wired into looking for the negative. But if we start our discussions, um, either with ourselves, with our partner, about the relationship, with this 10%, we will have completely different starting point. And I can promise you the discussion will go uh, differently. And this word is not black and white. It's everything but black and white. And we need to start seeing the gray colors. There is no 100% uh, right. There is no 100% wrong. There is always something in between. So if you start using the 10% rule, I am sure it will really, really help you. And this brings me uh, to the second point, which is to explore what is behind. Always uh, digging deeper into... Uh, 
the argument you have or uh, into the thoughts of your partner you are disagreeing on. 95% of our thoughts, our behaviors are out of habits. Can you believe it? When I saw this number, I was like, oh my God, this is crazy. We live uh, most of our life on autopilot. And we don't even have control over what we are thinking, what we are feeling, or what we are doing. Let me give you an example. Imagine you you had something planned for the evening with your partner, and he doesn't show up, and his phone is off. Now you start to have feel uh, think you start to think what's going on. Then you start to feel certain way. Then you start to be upset. And at the point when he shows up, and even before he is. Uh, can give you some explanation you are already in the argument because you created all these things in your head and I want to acknowledge here there is nothing uh, wrong with you we all do it it's completely normal and uh, the good news is that we can learn how to change it but my point is that often we feel negative emotions we feel upset we feel um sad because of this 95 percent of uh, like habitual thinking feeling and behavior so what you can do at the moment is to pause for a second and give yourself the space to not to react immediately. That will change a lot because often we uh, take action based on the given moment and then we say things uh, we don't want to say, we think um, for, uh, thoughts we don't want to think and give yourself the one, two, three seconds to react in a way that you honor the love and the relationship you have. And this takes me to the third sign that you are growing as a couple or a third tip if you want to grow more as a couple. And that don't take things personally. Again, this is our human nature. We think that we are the center of the universe. Whatever happens around us, we always interpret it in such a way that it's connected to us. Uh, we are in a crowd and somebody is looking in our direction and we think it must be because of a hole in our dress or us looking uh, terribly, our, our makeup uh, smashed or something like that. Or if our partner is watching TV and not chatting with us, if we interpret it in such a way that he's not interested in talking to us. Or maybe we make a mistake at work and our interpretation is that everybody will now think that we are incompetent and that we don't know what we are doing. And I saw this image recently, and I want to share this with you because it will show us how we are less important than we think. Imagine like how the Earth, if you are looking from the space, would look like before and after the perceived mistake you made. Will it spin faster? Will it flip? Or will the clouds disappear? Uh, let me assure you, from looking from the space, the earth will look exactly the same before your mistake and after your mistake. And this is actually very humbling to realize that whatever uh, we think is so important, uh, whatever mistake we have done, it's actually most of the people won't even notice and it's not important as we think. And more importantly, Often it was nothing personal. And I talk uh, more about this in my free video training, free uh, mistakes um, that you should avoid if you don't want to ruin your relationship. You can grab it now. I will share the link under the video so you can get some real practical and useful tips how to deal with this. And you will also learn about other mistakes we often do in our relationship. And... So that was taking things personally. So let's try not to take everything personally and it will also really help your relationship. I know it myself. It has been a hard one for me because uh, this was one of the mistakes I really kept doing in my previous and even in my current relationship. And it took me years to figure it out. So the fourth sign that you are growing as a couple and it's again connected to mistake, it's that you welcome the mistakes as opportunities to grow. That you don't see the mistakes as a failures, but something you can learn from as an individual and as a couple. 
uh, you and your partner, you are two separate human beings and you both have bad habits. You both uh, have certain way of doing things. You have your own thinking and that's the good thing, right? We, are, we want to remain two separate individuals who complement each other. Uh, but it's inevitable we will come into conflict at some point. And the point uh, of having the most amazing relationship is not about not arguing, but about learning how to deal with the disagreements. So the mistakes in the relationship, it can break you or it can let you grow. And here I want to say one thing. It's all a matter of perspective. Whatever happens, if it's an argument, if it's uh, your thoughts about something, uh, if it's something which one of you have done, you are the one who decides if it's good or bad. If you decide that the thing uh, is bad, then it's bad. If you decide that that terrible situation is a way how you can learn and grow, then you will learn and grow. Uh, and this is also... Um, a skill and I'm teaching this skill in one of my uh, six week programs and that's the greatest news that we can learn how to see um, the mistakes or failures or negative events as opportunities to to grow and this give uh, we are at the fifth sign that you are growing as a couple and this one is slightly different than the previous four I have mentioned. It's about the seasons in the relationship. I'm not sure if it's from the movies, uh, the romantic movies, the books, or how it all came around. But we somehow, I think subconsciously, want to keep the initial phase of the relationship, like the phase when we are so madly in love, uh, when we don't see each other's bad habits, um, when we are just excited, like even the sex life is so, so exciting. And even just uh, kissing him gives you butterflies in your tummy. We all somehow feel that we want to keep this face forever. And I think there is also this subtle feeling that this face is somehow better, that we should strive for it. But at the same time, we also want to have the security. We want to uh, have the the security that the person stands by uh, our side, even if he or she knows our bad habits. And this actually, this excitement and this security, they are the opposites. We can't have, have it all. And it doesn't mean that um, after the initial exciting phase, finishes that the rest of the relationship will be super boring it's not about that but it's just adjusting to the different stage uh, of your relationship and it's like um imagine you would uh, want the whole year to be spring and let's uh, leave out those of you who live on equa equator and there is the uh, same season every year but imagine if you would want to have spring all year round in every season, there is something we love and uh, we hate. <laughs> and um, there is always something to find in spring, summer, autumn, or winter. And it's the same uh, with the relationship. Or also imagine if a child would remain the child forever. It wouldn't make any sense. And actually knowing what stage of your relationship you are in and acknowledging uh, it and being in peace with it, it's a sign that you are growing as a couple. And remember the caveat I said in the sentence of, are we dealing with our challenges better today than yesterday, last month, last year, while loving each other? Let's not forget about this last part, while loving each other, because this is super important and no improvements in communication or perspective, seeing each other perspective will not save your relationship if you are not loving each other. And um, we are all guilty. I think it's one of our autopilot things is that sometimes we treat our partner, who is supposed to be the most important person in our life, worse than a random stranger on the street. So let's remember this, uh, that our partner and our relationship is one of the most important 
things we have in our life because we all know when our primary uh, relationship sucks, everything in life sucks. So let's treat it in such a way and let's be mindful about it. It's Again, it is a skill we can learn. And that is the great about everything I'm talking about today. If you are not doing something or if you see that you have gaps there, you can start now to start improving it. So uh, if right now you are not exactly where you want to be in your relationship and you have some challenges and you have been going around in the circles trying to sort them and you feel stuck and you are like wondering, are we growing? Is this going somewhere? Uh, look at these five signs I just mentioned and ask yourself uh, this question. Like, do you, do you see each other perspectives? Do you explore what is behind uh, the issues you are having? Um, are you above taking things personally? Do you welcome mistakes as opportunities to grow? Um, are you aware and do you accept the season of your relationship? And do you love each other? If your answers are yes, 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 then it's amazing and you are on the good path as growing as a couple. And growing as a couple or as an individual is a lifelong journey and there is always space for, for improvement and it will never end, which is uh, maybe the most exciting thing about it. And on this one, I would strongly recommend that you always have a coach by your side. It doesn't have to be me, whoever it, it, it is for you. Like, please uh, remember, it's so important to have somebody by your side who will support you and make you grow. And if, um, if you answered no to some of these questions, it, it's not time to be desperate and say it doesn't make any sense to continue in this relationship. You can start now. You can start working on yourself right now. And I believe that the biggest gift you can give to yourself and your relationship is to start work, uh, to starting to work on these five tips I have been mentioning because uh, in this way you will really change the perception of your life, of your relationship, and you will see the difference. And right now, uh, what you can do is you can continue watching a YouTube video, you can keep learning, you can start uh, taking action, that is the most important thing, start taking action and changing things. But also in uh, you can join me for my six-week foundational program, which will help you to uh, accept your life, your relationship, your partner, even with those annoying things, those challenges you are having. And it will teach you how to uh, live in more uh, focused, positive and loving way. And right now, because in the end of the month, November, uh, it's a Black Friday, so I'm having an amazing deal. And um, you can join me for this program at a very amazing offer. And I have only a few uh, spots available, so you are welcome to join. I'm super excited about the this uh, this November uh, so so this is what I believe will really help you to grow as a couple and if you have any questions or comments uh, please drop it below this video and I hope to see you next time or in my program have a wonderful day